loving every minute of it. Great fan support here at Rupp Arena as the Wildcats host the first round of the NCAA tournament. We're underway. Tipped over by Lamb. Peeler on the outside, that's a kill for the Wildcats, off the bat. And that's the name we're expecting to hear a lot tonight, but Teeler has a specific skill type that we don't see very often. She came in as an outside, but plays middle here, so she can play basically any part on the front row, and they use her a lot, Kentucky, moving her to the right and in the middle, depending on what rotation they're in. She's a fifth-year senior, a five-time SEC champion, and a five-time All-SEC honoree, and there is Wofford, Sarah Barham off the block. We're going to hear a lot of her name as well. I'm really excited to see these middles of both teams going back and forth with each other. Barham is a senior middle blocker for the Terriers. Like we said in the open, the all-conference most outstanding player in their tournament victory. As Reagan Rutherford earns her first point of the night for the Wildcats. Another name and another heavy hitter here in this one. Back to serve for the Cats. It's freshman Molly Tuzzo, who along with Brooklyn Delay has had a featured role on this otherwise pretty veteran team for the Wildcats. But the freshman carving out a nice position for herself, especially in the serve. But how about the Terriers? Sarah McLean with the kill. Really nice cut down the line by her. Really forced that thumb down. Kentucky left it open and she took her shot. McLean hitting 303 on the season. Here's Laney Klicka. Dealer showing off that experience. Kept alive by the Terriers. Outside to delay. Returned by Wofford. She'll go again. Sneak attack by the center. Kept alive. What a rally. Ultimately results in a Wildcat point. I'm really liking the defense that I'm seeing from both of the teams right now. I mean, really, really pushing to not let a ball touch the floor. You watch a rally like that, sometimes you wonder, man, some of these got to be worth more than one point. Rutherford also an All-SEC honoree for the Wildcats. That's two seasons in a row she's made that list. The senior from Missouri City, Texas. Averaging three and a half kills per set. Eleanor Bevin with the serve. Kentucky wide on that one off Getzinger. Point to the Terriers. Really, really smart shot by her. She had four hands in front of her and just went off the hands. Really smart. The court opens up about 40 more feet when you go off of those hands like that. There's a certain postseason energy in the building tonight. You can feel it, and both these teams really have to find that balance between leaning in and enjoying it and feeding off of it while still playing your game and settling in and limiting those errors. Yeah, and at the start of the tournament, you're expecting to see a little bit of craziness in the first couple of points, but once these teams settle their nerves and settle in, it'll become a lot cleaner volleyball. Audrey Whitworth to serve next for the Cats. It's another kill for the Terriers, that one by Natalie Arnold, her first of the night. She has come alive late in this season. 68 kills on the year, make it 69, and 58 of them have come this month. It's Addison Foote to serve. Kentucky native out of Prospect, back in her home state. Getting her with the point off the hands of the Terriers. Well, here's the head coach that got Wofford to this position. It's Lindsey Ruse in her ninth season at the helm. Winning record in seven of her nine seasons. Recently eclipsed her 150th win in the conference championships. Beautifully done by Mary Emily Morgan. Really, really smart shot by her. Kentucky has some big blockers, so she's going high on the edges and hitting the deep edges of the court. Really, really smart. 
Well, we've talked about Sarah Barham and her role in the middle. There's the Terrier's other key middle. It's Millie Lauer with the serve. Kept alive by Grome. Bumped over, free ball for Wofford. What a dig by Eleanor Bevan. Here goes Lamb. She's there. That's a net violation against the Terriers. A lot of effort, great hustle on that play, but ultimately point to the Wildcats. Yeah, this is looking like it's going to be a big defensive game. Both teams are doing a great job of keeping the ball off the floor. Here's Getzinger with the serve. Bar him over. Aaron Lamb. What a spot. Well, this is not exactly unfamiliar territory for Kentucky head coach Craig Skinner. It's his 19th season at UK. And how about this? A school record 19th straight trip to the NCAA tournament. Seven straight conference titles. And he has his team once again rolling at the right time. Although that's an error that'll give a point to the Terriers. Back to serve for the Terriers, it's Emily Hodson. Leads the service efforts this season for her team, 35 aces on the year. Kill out of the middle, Brooklyn delay. The power on that one. That was a really, really, really nice swing. Walker only left her with one blocker, so she had her way. I'm expecting to see a lot of this tonight. Kentucky uses her a lot when they have three hitters rotation, so you have four coming at you at a time. Serves up for the setter, Emma Grome. Morgan. Here goes Rutherford, but brought down by the bottom block. Really, really nice set up for them. Rutherford is a lefty, and so blocking a lefty can be a little bit difficult. They contact the ball in a place that is really not useful what people are used to volleyball wise. Rutherford again. Clicker was there. And that time it's the Kentucky block that takes care of business. The pace of this game, it just feels different as soon as the NCAA tournament rolls around, doesn't it? Yeah, it definitely seems more fast-paced. You're seeing a lot of big swings, a lot of really great defense. Serves up for Tuzzo. McLean with the point. Walker has done such a great job of using the hands of Kentucky's block. They have a lot of big blockers on their side, so they're going to put a lot of four hands in front of your face. And going off of those hands and straight into the antenna is a great way to get a quick point. McLean played her way to the Southern Conference All-Tournament team. First ever two-time honoree in program history in that regard. Kentucky's junior libero back to serve. An all SEC player for Kentucky. McLean again, she is cooking. The next starts off with a great pass. Walker's doing such a good job of passing on the setter's head that you're having all three options and running that double click. It's so hard for the middle to know where that ball is going. Reagan Rutherford doing what she does best, finding her weakness and trying to, her best to exploit it. She used her right hand on that one too. We talked to her a couple weeks ago about that. She said, it is something that I've been working on a little bit, being able to use both hands if she needs to. That's when you know you might be too good at volleyball. <laughs> you don't get to use both hands. You have to pick, right? I would hope so, because I definitely couldn't hit with my left. <laughs> That was a net violation call. Point to the Terriers.
Cats up by two, but this one's been back and forth early. Delay over the block. She'll go again. That one's gonna fall for Natalie Arnold. They're doing such a great job of hitting that line shot. I mean, Kentucky is leaving it and they are threading needles so, so well. Grown to Getzinger. Foot's there. Here she goes. Slide by the senior, at least getting her. Really, really smart shot by her. She had four hands in front of her. Her first hit was a swing, and sometimes it's good to throw in a little tip to keep the defense honest, but really, really smart shot. Delays turn to serve for the Wildcats. Over by lower. Delay from the back row. When she gets going like that, there is just not much you can do to stop her. And fantastic run. Kentucky talks a lot about their transition offense, that ball that they get to run after they play defense. They become so efficient and effective with it. And that back row attack has something to do with it. Having three to four hitters coming at you at a time makes it so hard to play defense. Three kills already for the SEC Freshman of the Year. Arnold again. Bevan gets it up. Lamb with the hit, but it's just wide. Point to the Terriers. It's a good idea, but that four to four shot, left front to left front, is such a small area of court. It's really, really hard to hit it consistently. It's Millie lower to serve. Well, we've got a good one brewing in Lexington. Cats up by three early in the first. We're about to meet each other in those second round and regional semifinals. Potential for a Kentucky-Arkansas rematch, but no reason to get ahead of yourself because Wofford is playing lights out right now against the Wildcats. Nine kills for the Terriers, 10 so far for the Cats. Make it 11, Brooklyn delay. I mean, that back row attack is automatic right now. And it is open and Kentucky is running it. And she's running it at such an efficient clip, moving the ball around the court. We saw her hit right back, now she's hitting left back, just going all over the place. And for a freshman to be playing that well at so many different positions, incredibly impressive. Arnold up with a swing, but that one goes wide. Point to the Cats. I like the idea that line shot is open, just cut it a little bit too much. Well, Wofford head coach Lindsay from the start. Oh, yeah, you can definitely see that they're enjoying every point and they're loose sometimes when it's your first of something. You have, and in this big of a stage with a team like Kentucky that's known for being in the tournament, you could be a little timid, be a little tight, but they're playing so loose, they're having so much fun, and that's exactly what you want to see. You're all right, come on, talk. Morgan with the kill. Kentucky block is ready for it. She'll go again. She gets over the block, but it goes wide. Point to the Cats. Like I said, good idea. She's aiming for those high parts of the hands. She's got a big Kentucky block in front of her. Good job of moving it around. It's a little too far, but great idea. Cats on a 4 nothing scoring run behind the serve of Elise Getzinger. There's Arnold. She'll go again. Touched by the Wildcats. Point to the Terriers. Great, great. Good four hands in front of her hitting high. It goes for those edges, the high edges of the block. It's a beautiful, beautiful swing. Arnold has really hit a new groove this season. Came alive with 11 kills against Furman back on October 28th. Has been firing ever since. What a kill by a Johnny Teeler. And that's that movement that I've been talking about. She can hit in the middle and she can hit behind, but just, I mean, barely an inch of line was left and she found that ball but found its way down there. And she's done that all season, hitting 404 on the year. Teeler again, back to back for the fifth year senior. You want to talk about experience? There's maybe nobody in this tournament with more experience than Ajani Teeler. She won a national championship with this program in 2020. 
has won five SEC championships, and to our knowledge, the only player to do that with the same program, to play all five seasons, and to win an SEC title in all five of her seasons. Very impressive what Teeler has been able to do with this program. Absolutely, it's just such an integral part of the program, especially with that national championship run. How cool it is with that COVID year being able to say something like, I won five SEC championships in a row. Had the chance to talk with Teeler earlier this week and put her on the spot a little bit, asked if this one felt a little bit sweeter with everything this team has been through this year as she records another kill. And she said, yes, this one was hard. The SEC was so good this year. And of course, I'm sure we're going to talk about it. Kentucky did struggle early on so they didn't respond the way they have. And for her and her team to be playing this way at this point in the season, well, of course, it makes it a little bit sweeter to get that fifth ring. Ooh, I like the swing. They ran such a quick, we call that zero tempo, which basically means there are zero seconds between that ball coming out of the setter's hand and the hitter hitting it. Beautiful run, hit that triangle in between the two blockers' hands. What a kick! Over by Wofford. Great hustle. Teeler again. She is on fire. And that was a big time swing. I don't even know if there was a block in front of her on that one, but Kentucky's doing a good job of moving her around. It's so hard to set up a block. Lost to Tennessee in September. They have been on a roll and found their motive, and that's a Craig Skinner thing to do, is schedule really hard, because he knows it's a long season, and you want to peak in November, not in September. Recorded for Sarah McLean. Placement right in the middle of that Kentucky defense. She's doing a great job of moving the ball around. We've seen her swing a ton off the hands and throws with the tip, really keeping this Kentucky defense honest. Taylor Pace with the serve. Delay with the finesse. And that's a high volleyball IQ we've been talking about. She's hit a lot and saw a seam through the block's hands and just hit it. Well, Delay came in with all sorts of expectations as a two-time Kansas Gatorade Player of the Year in Good. Topeka, Kansas. And not only did she meet those expectations, well, I think she surpassed them, becoming the freshman of the year in the SEC. Again, some stiff competition. But how about Elise Getzinger on that one? It's nice to have a senior. And that's been a run that we've seen her and Emma Grove do so well throughout the season. Their slide had become almost automatic, being able to set it from so many different areas on the court. Coach Skinner has talked with us this season about how much better Grom has gotten at disguising her sets, keeps the defense on their toes in terms of where she's going, and Getzinger has really got that down as well. That one just long by Reagan Rutherford. And that is something we haven't seen in a really, really long time, actually, her playing back row. for the Wildcats, but Wofford will get the serve. It's Addison Foote. <laughs> try it once, try it twice. Brooklyn delays kill, finishes. Set one for the Wildcats. Right, 25 right. tomorrow evening. Set two, it's a clean slate. Leo, we saw Walker come out firing in the first one, faltered a little bit down the stretch. What do you want to see them adjust to start the second um, I mean, I think defensively they did a fantastic job of on uh, Kentucky's outsides. I think now they got to hone in a little bit on the middle. The Johnny Teeler has done a lot of swings with no one in front of her, so kind of adjusting that block to make sure that they're getting in front of her. But overall, I think you just cut down a little bit of people getting straight down kills, and you have yourself a game. Well, how about Sarah Barham starting set two, just like she started set one with a kill for the Wofford Terriers' first point of the set. And if you want to talk about their defense, well, look no farther than... Barham herself, along with Millie Lower. They're number one and two in the Southern Conference. 
in blocks this season. She owns record on record on record for this Terrier program. Broke her own record a couple of times already throughout her career, and that's when you know you've really made a massive impact on your program. She's certainly done that. Serves up for Molly Tuzzo. Rome to Rutherford. That's a kill. Beautiful swing by the lefty. Looks like the block was a little too far outside, so she was able to hit cross court right past her. Rutherford, another member of that 2020 national championship winning team and an all SEC honoree now for two straight seasons. Bevan got a hand on it, but not able to get it up in terms of getting it back over. Wofford with a point. Love, love the deep swing that I'm saying from Wofford, really pushing that Kentucky defense back to have to almost be on their heels ready to dig balls. Morgan, out of bounds. Bumped over by Morgan. Rome to Rutherford again. Carriers get it back this time. Tuzzo up. Joust at the net. Victory for Sarah McLean. Yeah, they got a good up, but that ball was a little too tight, really hard for Brooklyn to lay to get a hand on. Six kills already for the junior out of Simpsonville, South Carolina. Heath to serve. Rome to delay. Morgan just a touch slow on that one. Kill for the Cats. Yeah, great touch by the block, but just nobody was back there to dig in. The communication between those two has been phenomenal this season. Kentucky's setter in Emma Grome and of course the freshman Brooklyn delay, but this is Whitwork to serve. Lower over the block. She'll try it again, that one into the net. Yeah, set looked a little bit low. Good idea, they had the right range, but set was just too low under the tape. Really hard ball to try to get up and over the net. Lower listed at six foot five. Need a high set. Yeah, a little bit high. Let her reach for it. What a point by the Terriers. You know, lower going up against Rome at the net, and then ultimately the Terrier is victorious. I'm loving the variety of sets that they're throwing out there. You see a lot of quick balls, a lot of people coming into the middle and spreading them out. I, I really like it. You don't see a lot of that, but it's really good to see a mix of offense. There's Getzinger. Nicely covered. She'll try again, same spot. Different results. Good high swing by her. She's she's coming in hot. That first one ran into the ref stand, but I guess that tells you how much energy and aggression she's putting into working to get behind the setter. It is not an easy thing to do, that is for sure. Delay with the serve. Right up to Aaron Lamb. Morgan gets it back, but it's in the block. Point to the Wildcats. Really great setup by Kentucky. They knew where that ball was going. Ball was on the right side of the court. And just great press, fundamentals, funneling sound ball. I think Rome got a piece of that block. She's listed at 5'9", 5'10". Oh, she tries to get in there. Don't, don't be shocked when you see her. She might be a little undersized, but. 
capped over by Morgan. Great placement, but Whitworth is there. Lamb goes for the kill. It's wide. Really lower, back to serve. She's second in her conference this season, hitting 357 on the year. Also second in the league in blocks. One even a set. And when Brooklyn Delay does that, there's not a lot you can do about it. Yeah, they have that back row attack firing in a way that almost we haven't seen this season. We have not seen them set it this much. So even throwing it in serve receive, definitely throwing in some variety in this tournament. Well, it's fun, right? You're playing somebody totally different. Yeah. You get so used to playing in your league and playing the kind of volleyball that SEC plays and the yeah. Southern Conference plays, and these two teams really mixing it up early on because these two styles are so different. Yeah, and it's kind of, it's really interesting, actually, of how different each conference plays volleyball, and then you see these different teams come and play each other, and you see just so many different styles, and it's really cool to see how certain teams run their offense. Bro, all the way over to Lamb. Count it. Now Emma Grom has had another fantastic season for the Wildcats and she heads back to serve for her team. Now she didn't make the all SEC team, but she was not named SEC player of the year. A little bit surprising for people around Lexington and around the Kentucky program as she leads the entire NCAA this season in assists per set, over 12 of them on average. Couldn't quite get underneath that one, but it is her setting that has really powered this Kentucky offense all season. Talked to head coach Craig Skinner earlier this week. And didn't want to give her too much leeway either direction, whether or not she was going to let this really affect her. But she, he did say that Emma always has an edge about her. She's competitive no matter what. And even if she's not letting it affect her game, maybe she's not feeling upset or disappointed or whatever word you want to use. I know that some of her teammates have to be feeling that way, and, and they all want to prove that Emma Grome is the best player in this league. How about an ace for the Wildcats? Molly Tuzzo. I think that's a staff that people don't talk about much often, but almost every Kentucky DF that's playing has over 25 aces on the year. Tuzzo leads the way for the Wildcats. And it's a tale as old as time as we immediately <laughs> jinx her. Okay, every time a commentator says something about serving, something will go wrong in serving. We, we have to learn at some point. It's on us. <laughs> Not saying a thing about this one. That's right. it. <laughs> so when we don't talk about the servers, they get an ace. And when we do, they get an error. So you can't write it better than that. <laughs> Click uh, the serve again. Wofford within two. Right to delay in the back row. But she'll quickly make her way to the net for another kill. Yeah, great out of system swing. I mean, that ball was coming from at least 20 feet. You have a nice solid block in front of you, but was able to get that middle to the left hand. Didn't press it all the way over, was still kind of going straight up, so easy tool. Another serve for Eleanor Bevan. Overpasses are always a fun one. We've said it before, we'll say it again. A member of the 2020 National Championship team. She's a four-time SEC champion. Brings a lot of experience to this roster. What a block! Point to the Wildcats. Big time move. We got two about. 6364 6 blockers over there, but just great press back into the seam. With the slide, you mostly see hitters going cross court, so really great move inside. <laughs> They're collegiate teams for Eleanor Bevan. She's the Wildcats junior libero, a three time SEC champion. Well, Addison Foot. She's a senior at a North Oldham High School. Started her career at BCU before transferring to Wofford. And comes from a very athletic family. Sometimes you just cannot escape 
your own genetics, right? Look at this. Her mom played volleyball at Midway. Her sister played at center. Long by the Terriers. And it's always fun to go against a former teammate. Oh yeah, that's always that's always fun when you know somebody across the net, especially when one's a libero and one's an outside, getting to dig each other, try to get a kill. Lower. <laughs> like that run. There's a spice with that behind her, but her sheer. But good. Great thing to happen when the ball gets to the center and getting to get in the middle of the ball is a big thing that offers needs right now. Lower filed up. Oh, great hustle by the Terriers. She get that second touch. Getting great touches on that first initial contact, but not getting high enough. That's what else to be able to play. Reagan Rutherford. But surprising, but here she goes, back to serve. Yeah, that is something we haven't seen since before she got injured in the beginning of the SEC season. Great response by the Terriers. Got the cat out of system and took advantage of it. Abby Richmond, the senior libero out of Carmel, Indiana. She won her conference's defensive player of the week award four times this season, averaging just under four digs per set. She had a pretty incredible run in about midway point this season. 43 straight matches with double digit digs. Made it 413 days then had a four-dig outing against Furman in late October. Ultimately snapped that streak, but very impressive. 413 days. What a dig by DeLay. Aaron Lamb into the block. Bevan is there. DeLay again, over. Here goes Morgan. Getzinger on the slide. What a dig. Lower. This swing. Tapped over. What a rally. Erin Lamb will end it for the Wildcats. She takes time, it takes patience, it takes hard work, and the Cats have certainly done that to get to this point. Pancake by Whitworth gets it up. Here goes Lamb. That one, unsuccessful. Great block set up. It was an out of system ball, so Wofford knew where the ball was going. And sometimes in those situations, you kind of aren't as technically, technically sound, and you're like, oh, I know where this ball is going. But they did a great job of pressing over the net and putting hands in front of the face. We've talked about Kentucky's early struggles and how they've turned it around, but how about Wofford? Gone on not just this current eight match win streak. They had another one earlier this season as well. That one got up to 10 matches long. It really, if you look at their schedule, has been an incredible story. Starting back on September the 8th, is their first win in what became a 10 match win streak. Upset Virginia during that period. Hit a rut in October and then bounced back to win the last eight. Largely thanks to that senior right there, Sarah Barham. Really smart shot. Sometimes you don't have to hit the ball hard. If you see somewhere else, sometimes it's easy to just kind of look power tip is what we call it, right to the middle of the court. Lamb off the block. That shot went to my favorite area of the court, called the Willie Donut. We love to see the the volleyball, but that's in between about four defenders. It's such a hard ball to get up because anybody can get it. Kentucky hitting 418 on the day. What a dig by Bevin. 
Barlow puts it down, but she's back. Rutherford right into the block. How about Mary Emily Morgan? That was a big time move. I actually saw her make an adjustment mid jump, drop her right and left hands into the team, knowing that Rick Rutherford is a cross court heavy hitter, moving those hands back in and sealing that team up. Really, really nice block. Morgan leads her team in kills per set. She's also been getting it done on defense. Five double doubles on the season. Tuzzo heading back to serve again for the Wildcats. Kentucky two points away from a set two victory. What a dig by Grome. Delay goes up. Hodson was there. Foot with the swing, out of bounds. Trying to go high, good idea. I mean, the high hand is a good idea, it's a little long enough. It is set point for the Wildcats. You see BBN always stands up on a set point. See what Tezzo does with it. Delays way into the block. But that point is going to the Terriers. That was a big time block, too. Sarah Barham at her best. Still set point for the Cats. Teeler! There she goes again. She got so hot in the first set. A little bit more quiet in this second, but how about that? A lot of fan support for the Terriers here. If you hear the parents behind us, trust us. They're having fun. Oh, yeah, they're enjoying every moment. We got to talk to a couple of them before the match, and they're like, the girls are so excited to be here. We are excited to cheer them on. The postseason is fun, and how about a lineup? Switch out by the Wildcats. This is Jordan Williams in for the Cats. Yeah, this has been the great thing about Kentucky this year. They have so many different hitters that they can play in the game. They dealt with some injuries this year, so a lot of people have had to step up. So they can really put anybody in to play, and we'll have a good success rate. Serves up for Emma Grome. Bumped over by Morgan. Aaron Lambert, the block is there. They do it again. Three Pete. Point to the Wildcats. Walker Block getting involved. I like the touches that they were getting. Really firm hands over the net. They have absolutely dominated the Southern Conference this season at the net. First in the league in solo blocks, led in large part by Barham and Low Lower. Excuse me. There she goes right there. It's a net violation on the Cats. Lower is loving it. They've done such a great job of moving her around and also getting her involved. Tough serve to Bevin. Delay gets it up. Rutherford bumps it over. Out of bounds by Natalie Arnold, just outside. I like the choice that Kentucky is keeping the line open for their right side hitter, so they're hitting the right area just a little too far deep. Five, six are always open. 
Morgan also recently recognized with the Pinnacle Award in her conference. Highest GPA on the conference championship winning team. Arnold. Delight over the block, out of bounds. A misfire by the freshman. Walker putting up some really nice block setups, especially in out of system, really sealing that line, forcing Kentucky to go towards most of their defenders in middle left back. Another termination by Rutherford. Really good at moving the ball for the ground. Loves going line, loves going really sharp cross. Low serve by Bevin. Barham, Getzinger's there. Over the block that time. What a dig by DeLay. Getzinger finishes it for the Cats. Saving that ball from going over the net, but it starts with a great up by Brooklyn delay off the block. Getzinger with the kill. Taking advantage of a maybe a bit of a miscommunication on the Terrier side. Yeah, it looks like they didn't know who was supposed to take that first ball, so they had to send a little bit of an easier ball over the net. Can't give this Kentucky offense easy opportunities. Back set, Arnold. Delay cross court. She'll go again, Arnold. Getting her into the block. Barham is there. Can't get a hand on it in a way that would get it up enough for a teammate to respond. Please, Getting her got blocked. Went off her head and went back over the net. Kill off the head, that's not something you say very often. Resilient is the word, right? <laughs> Hustle play. Morgan, cats on the floor. Both the teams scrambling. What a swing by Morgan. And what a swing by Reagan Rutherford. She is rolling in set three. That's that. A lot of great volleyball happening all across the country. right in front of her left shoulder and just pressed in. Those one-on-one -on -one blocks are the most satisfying thing to do. And that's an ace for Watford. Off the hands of Emily Hodson, the senior setter out of Alpharetta, Georgia. She leads their service efforts this season. 35, now 36 aces on the season. Rutherford will try it again. Sarah McLean got to it, but hit out of bounds. She was really, really wide outside of the pin. That would be all the shot she could have hit without hitting that pin. Served by the Cats. Barham with the kill. Really, really smart shot off the high hand. Like I said, you get 40 more feet of court. You saw that ball went close to the bench. So hard to dig those balls off of hands. We're getting serve. Getzinger gets the point for her team. Got a touch on it. Just Went too far. Getting her. She hits a hard ball. You got to give her that. That was Getzinger's ninth kill of the evening. Brooklyn Delay, the only player so far tonight with double figure kills already. She's back to serve. Point to the Terry. 
Warriors. Sarah McLean looking to get things going again. She caught fire early for this team and they're trying to roll things back her way here in set three. She's had a lot of success with that block, running that slide, going off of hands and finding a way through. Lainey Klicka with the serve. Aaron Lim, what a swing. Kept alive by the Terriers, though. Grown to delay back row. She's so dangerous. She does it again. Kentucky's done a great job of running that back row attack to least expect it. Coming from that, you definitely think she's probably going to set someone front row and just sets right down the middle to the Brooklyn delay. Served by Getzinger, out of bounds. Give the ball back to the Terriers. What a response by Wofford in set three. Serves up for Pate. Finesse shot by Aaron Lamb. Arnold into the block, brought down by Aaron Lamb. That was a big time block. I mean, they were forehand, they were hip to hip, elbow to elbow. Made a big wall across with that. And just look at that press at the last moment by Aaron Lamb, really turning that left hand inside the court, forcing it. Thing. There's no way that ball's going out off of me, that's for sure. That block by Lamb brings us even in this one. Four blocks for each team so far. That serve sails out of bounds. Rutherford again, she is loving that spot. She's finding the littlest part of the scene that Walker is leaving and hitting it. Serves up for Tuzzo. Arnold, what a swing. Set tipped over by delay. Balls up, it's Morgan. Just wide. I like that she swung on that ball though. About 10, 12 feet off, and then sometimes hitters are like, I have to keep that ball in, but she went and swung for it. Have to play aggressive, down two sets to none. Looking to make a comeback here in the third. Williams with the attack. Foot from the back row. Out of bounds, point two, Kentucky. That's on a three point scoring run. Brought to an end by Mary Emily Morgan. I like that run by her. They bought her inside the court and called this random ball that we call a grip, kind of like a three tempo ball, just a little bit higher, higher than what the middle is listening. There's Millie Lower to serve. The power off of that one from Brooklyn Delight. You can almost hear it. Yeah. Definitely heard her contact. The contact heard around the world. Definitely put some pace and heat behind that ball. That contact has been heard all across at least the SEC this season on her way to an SEC Freshman of the Year campaign. Looking to keep it going here in the NCAA tournament, although that one goes to the Terriers. Really, really smart shot. Wasn't a swing, but also wasn't a tip. Really threw that ball kind of. I'd say a 50% tempo type of ball back to the deep line. That's a ball I don't think anyone can defend. Hodson with the serve. Getzinger makes it work. Sneak attack. Point for Emily Hodson. She'll keep it going on the service line. 
Hudson leads her team in double doubles this season with 11 on the year. She had three in a row in her conference tournament. And a kill out of the middle by Elise Gessinger. That's an interesting one off. Kind of like a dig. I don't know if you get a dig or an assist for that one. We've gotten so used to seeing Getzinger with the slide, it's almost funny to see her in the middle like that. Yeah. Quick turnaround, just jumped up and slung, but might as well. Just like she drew it up, right? That's an easy one. The tape can be beneficial if you use it the right way. First up, the women's basketball team, the women's golf team, other athletic participants on campus really wanting to show their support for these Terriers, and they've certainly made their school proud. Smallest school in terms of enrollment in the tournament this season. If just around 1,800 undergraduates. doesn't even know what to think. <laughs> yeah, that's, that's, I've never seen that one before. Wofford fans not happy behind <laughs> us. Those of you enjoying the show from home can probably hear them right now. But they're feeling a little bit better after that sort of error. What a serve. Delay off the block. She'll go up again. Delay with the block that time. Quick hands. Reagan over. That one's out of bounds. Point to the Terriers. What a rally. I love the defense I'm seeing from both sides. You can definitely tell there's a little bit more energy, energy more of an edge because of the NCAA tournament. Hustle plays. Okay, they say defense wins championships. Richmond to serve. Over for delay. What a dig by Richmond. Keeps it alive. There goes foot. Thrown to the outside. Delay. Up by Klicka. Over by delay. Barham gets a hand on it. Excuse me, that was hot stick. He got there just in time. Another great rally. I'm telling you, I mean, it's great. something about the postseason. I feel like it brings out a whole other side of people. It's so exciting to watch. Kept up by Whitworth. Getzinger again. Count it. With that slide pack that we were talking about again. It's really, really great run. And it starts with a dig. What an up. And that ball kind of didn't make it all the way to the pin, so you call that maybe an I or an A, depending on where you're at. of the court. So hard to defend the ball that's hitting almost the back, maybe third of the court. I don't think Kentucky got the point, because it looks like Craig's going to count. 
Here comes the card from Skinner. He'll challenge this one. Looks like they're a net violation. Right, but NCAA tournament stakes are certainly higher. Looks like we have a decision. In favor of the Wildcats. Mr. Poker Face himself, Craig Skinner. He's not going to tell you he's excited, but Emma Grom show, sure will. Look at her. We have a pretty high clip, I believe, of winning challenges throughout this season. Yes, I believe that makes it 22 of 34. Cats two points away. Getzinger with the serve. Foot. With the kill. I love that swing. I just love how she has been swinging on those balls that you're like, I don't know. But putting a hand on it makes such a difference. It makes defense still have to play. When you send over a free ball, it's easy for the setter to release. People to get comfortable when you send over even a little bit of a spin on a ball. Kind of makes everybody think. Terrier is not done yet. Throw to Williams. That one's hit out of bounds. The block is there. Her hands were just facing outside of the court, so that's where that ball went. If only she moved her hands facing into the court, that ball would have definitely gone straight down. And it brings us to match point inside Rupp Arena. Foot again. 